We're gonna rewind it. Welcome to another day of learning right here with Mr. C. We wanted to say that if this is your first time joining us, my name is Mr. C, and we have a lot of fun learning together each and every day, whether you're a homeschool family, whether you are a teacher, student, it doesn't matter. There are simple things in your house that you can do to learn to have fun. And what I have here is baking soda. And I also brought along some distilled vinegar, which I poured into my beaker. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of my vinegar. I'm not measuring it out. I'm just going to put a little bit into the cup. And then I'm going to take about a tablespoon and just mix it up. And when I mix those two things up, we have this reaction and we have all of these bubbles that produce. So baking soda is a base, vinegar is an acid, and when those two things mix together, they have atoms that move back and forth. And during that reaction, we have this thing called carbon dioxide that's produced. So eventually, it produces carbon dioxide and it leaves us with water inside of this container. And I can mix it up to make sure that reaction's taking place really well. And here's the really cool thing. You can't see it, but that CO2 gas is inside of this container, all right? So what we're gonna try, ooh, I know what I need. I need some water. I need a little bit of water here in a second. I've got my Buffalo Bills cup, my handy dandy Buffalo Bills cup, always here to save the day. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna do the same reaction. And we saw the bubbles, but what we're gonna try, I hope this works, we're gonna try a little bit of vinegar, not too much. Put that in there. And I'm gonna put a tablespoon of vinegar in there with that, and then I'm gonna cap this off. Whoa! If you joined us yesterday, you saw that when we cap things off, the gas builds up and builds pressure. And what we're gonna do is close that, and we're gonna hope that the gas rushes out of this end. Okay, this is a glass container with a rubber stopper. And then I'm gonna put this in here to see if we can see the gas escape, if there actually is gas escaping and not just our bubbles. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> so those bubbles in this cup are being produced from the gas that's being produced from this chemical reaction. How cool is that? Oh, that's awesome. And it keeps going. I mean, it, the reaction goes quite a long time. It's starting to slow down. So our reaction is coming to an end over here. Stir it up. Oh, did you see that? When I stirred it up, it went crazy again. And now it's slowing down. So our chemical reaction is coming to an end. And so I have to ask myself, what if we capture all of that CO2 in a container? So I have another one, and what we're gonna do is, I wanna see if we can do this. So I said we're gonna make a little mini DIY fire extinguisher. Behind me, I have a big fire extinguisher, and it's filled with carbon dioxide, the same gas that we're producing here. And inside of that container, it's compressed, and it's squeezed in there so that when we trigger it, we can extinguish a fire because we know that fire needs something very special in order to burn. It needs oxygen. So I'm gonna light this candle up. I'll light them both up. So we've got our two little candles and what we're gonna do is pour a little bit of vinegar in here. Oh, Wait, I wanna show you something. I know it. I want everybody to see what will happen. All right, so right now, if I take my cup, now there might be a little vinegar that dribbles out, but if I take my cup and do that, nothing happens to the flame, right? Nothing's happening to the flame. Let's add one more candle. That little one, the first one isn't burning too well. All right, so now we're going to create our chemical reaction. we go. Don't overflow. Don't overflow. Don't overflow. Don't overflow. All right. 
right. We're going to let it go just for a second. So we're producing all of those bubbles. And what we're going to do, is now that the reaction has ended, or it's coming to an end, I'm just going to take this and I'm going to tip it over our candle. Oh, it's like a birthday trick candle over there. There we go. I didn't pour the liquid out, but I poured something else out. What did I pour out? CO2. I poured out the CO2. And what that shows us is that this carbon dioxide is heavier than the gas around us because it poured out and it fell and it actually extinguished our candles. So I love doing that. That's a really cool little experiment. If you're going to do this experiment at home, boys and girls, always remember you're doing this with a parent because we're dealing with fire and flame. But you can build your own little DIY fire extinguisher with that and put out these little candles using a chemical reaction, baking soda and vinegar. I think it's pretty cool. All right, so we're going to put that away over here to the side. And you might be saying to yourself, now what are we doing? So now we're going to have some fun. So we can take the same chemical reaction to inflate some balloons, all right? So that's what we're gonna do. I have a balloon here. I have a funnel. And I'm gonna need some vinegar. So what we're gonna do is, you might not have little beakers like this, but if you don't have little beakers like that, you probably have things like this, measuring cups. So you can use either of these. And what I'm gonna encourage you to do is try to figure out um, a way to go through this process to do different tests and change variables. So what we're going to do is I'm going to, we have four bottles. We're going to do the first bottle with a quarter cup of vinegar. The second bottle with a third cup of vinegar and the one, two, three. And the third bottle with a half a cup of vinegar. And we'll do three experiments. And then what we're going to do is see if the balloon inflates differently. And in each of the balloons, I put a tablespoon of baking soda, okay? So I'm gonna put a tablespoon of baking soda. I wanna control the variables other than the first one. Let me see, yeah. So I've already filled this one up over here. I have a couple extra that I filled up. So there's one. So in this first bottle, whoa. there we go. All right. Oh, the smell of vinegar. It's almost that time of year when people start uh, coloring Easter eggs, vinegar in the house. Oh, that smell is very distinct. All right, so I've got a little bit of baking soda powder in here. So when I pour this in, it might fizz a little bit, but I'm gonna use a funnel. So that is a half a cup. This is a third. This is a quarter cup. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our balloons and I'm just gonna make, oh, I've got these, okay. So I've got this one here, this one here, and we'll do three different colors. So the pink one in the middle, the orange one over here, boom, boom, boom. Now, if you're at home following along, there's a trick to getting this to work so that it, you don't accidentally pour in the baking soda before. You want to capture as much of the reaction as possible inside of the balloon. So what we're going to do is I'm going to just put this up like this. And sometimes I'll twist it like this. So 
so that it doesn't All right, so now all we have to do to create this reaction is lift up our balloon. And I'm gonna recommend that everybody holds onto the balloon here because it's gonna build up pressure. <laughs> I did this once at a live show. We we're trying to pull the video. I did this once at a live show and the balloon shot off. Well, that's kind of fun too, right? All right, here we go. We'll share that too. Yeah, we'll share that later. It's a pretty awesome video. All right, in three, two, one. All right, so that one is having the reaction. We've got the reaction happening and all the gas is being produced and the gas has nowhere to go. So it expands and pushes against itself. And because the balloon is made of rubber and it's flexible, it expands. All right, so that's, that's not too shabby. It's, it's smaller than I thought. Here we go. So that was a quarter cup of vinegar with a tablespoon of baking soda. This is a third cup. Oh yeah, this is, can we see a difference? All right, you don't think there's a difference there? I think there's a little bit of a difference. I think the pink one's a little bit bigger. All right, here we go. And this is, what did I say, half a cup? Wow. It's in the balloon. Yeah, the liquid, can you see the liquid in the balloon? So it actually spewed up into the balloon. Look at this. All right, so I would say that we controlled the amount of baking soda in each of the balloons. These two are really close together, aren't they? I think the pink one's a little bit bigger though. But then we changed the amount of vinegar. So this is something that you can try at home. What if you keep the vinegar amounts the same? What if you give a half a cup of vinegar in each bottle and then change the amount of um, baking soda you put into each of the balloons. So maybe like one tablespoon, two tablespoons, three tablespoons, and then half a cup of vinegar in each one. And then to see if the reaction changes or see what happens. I'm not quite sure what will happen, but I do know that these little balloons are filled with CO2 and they're just cute. I'm going to keep them. I'm going to put them right here. And you're going to be saying, oh man, is it over Mr. C? And the answer is, no, 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 no. I have something really special for you. Really special that we're going to try. <sighs> so. I right, got to make some space. It's going to get interesting. Going to move some things around. And while I'm moving some things around, if you haven't liked or followed the page yet, be sure to like and follow our page. We're posting new content every single day. We'll be doing it the entire month of April and possibly beyond. We'll see the situation with schools. We're trying to make sure that we provide support to families and schools and teachers all around our region here in Ohio and actually all across the country. So we're very fortunate that we are able to bring this to you and have the capability to do so. But more importantly, we really just wanna have fun. So check out, make sure you subscribe here and if you haven't ever done so, follow us on YouTube as well. We're almost at 9,000 subs. But look what I have here. We have one of your former students is on here. Who's my, what former student is on here? Abby Eckberg, but I don't know if that's her. Hi, name. Abby. Does this, so one of my former students is out there. Hi, Abby. I have a lot of former students that follow me on Facebook. And uh, yeah, I still do all this stuff. I still love doing this stuff. So thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you have a kiddo or you're just hanging in there watching with us. That's awesome. All right. So, I've got this five gallon jug for water. It's a water container. And it's, I've used this one for some different science experiments, as you can see, it's, it's uh, kind of beat up. But what we're gonna do is we are going to add, yeah, there's not enough in there. We're gonna add a gallon of vinegar to this. We've never done this inside, and it makes me a little nervous, but I'll hold on tight. I'll hold on tight. All right, here we go. So we're gonna do the same thing we did with the soda bottles. We're gonna add the vinegar.
Can you hear that? Just gurgling. That's an amazing sound because we know some really cool science is about to happen. <laughs> oh. Alright, if something goes wrong, Mrs. C, just cover up the equipment. That's the only job we have. If something goes wrong. Alright, now I have a balloon. It's a 48 inch balloon. Alright, so when you inflate this, it gets. 48 inches in diameter, it's huge. So we're gonna see how big we can get this balloon by mixing baking soda and some vinegar in. And I have two cups of baking soda, two cups, cups. So, just for comparison, look at the size difference. Half a cup, a gallon of vinegar. <laughs> oh, there's a question for you. How many cups are in a gallon? That's something for you guys to try to figure out at home. If you already know it, awesome. If you don't, get some measuring cups out and figure it out. All right, here we go. We're going to put this on top. So, Mrs. C, can we go wider on that main camera? Um. Or we're just... All right. I think that's as wide as it goes. All right. So we're going to try to capture the balloon. I'm not sure how big it's going to get. You might have to set it on the stool behind you, maybe. Ooh, I can pull it down after. That's a good idea. Here we go. I need a countdown. In. Okay, if you're going to do this, make sure you hold on to this because I could. the pressure builds up. All right. And I want you guys to pay attention to what's happening in here and up here also. All right. I'm nervous and excited all at the same time. All right. Here we go. In three, two, one. Okay, that's not too bad. Just hold it. Oh, oh, it's gurgling up. Oh, and it's cold. It's cold. That's not too bad. We got it. We got it. It's safe. It's safe. Look at that. <laughs> all right, we got a little bit more in there. We're going to shake it all out, do the hokey pokey, and we turn ourselves around. Ah! All right, so I can hear. Oh, I can see. Oh, no, that's not a hole. I thought I had a hole. I did this once at a school, and I had a hole in the side, and it gurgled up into it. <laughs> it was shooting liquid at my helper who was holding the bottle. It was just like, Psh! it was really cool. Look at this thing. That is filled with carbon dioxide. Here, I'm going to bring it down onto the stool so you can see how big that balloon got. That's a gallon of vinegar. I'm going to keep holding this because I'm nervous it's going to shoot off still. That's a gallon of vinegar and two cups of baking soda. All right, so what'd you think? Did you guys have some fun today? This is something, and actually some of our fans have sent us videos from this because we have a full steam ahead episode that airs on PBS. 